You two have done outstanding work. So what I have to say isn't going to be easy. I'm taking you off the case. But, sir, David Carter... David is... Carter blew up a mall, Sergeant, and he nearly took both of you with it. He's a menace to himself and to others. Sir, that's all the more reason to find You're me. not listening, Major. The boy is dangerous. You should have realized that going in. I nearly lost you two. But, sir, I... Look, I know it's been rough. Take some time off. Get some rest. And then come back ready for a new assignment. <sighs> Thank you, sir. We'll do that. General? Do you think he really believes David Carter is dangerous? No. We're being sandbagged, Angie. We're the ones who made contact with the aliens. It's like Gordon doesn't want us to get to the bottom of this. Maybe he's afraid of what we might find. Suppose... Suppose we put a tap on Gordon's line. We'd be flirting with a court-martial. We're intelligence officers, Sergeant. Isn't it time we gathered some intelligence? What's your news, Gordon? We captured the boy. Dr. Lear's hybrids finally did something right. Excellent. When will my nephew begin his journey? He already has, Dragon. I don't know how long I was asleep. Hours, days, weeks. Strange images danced in my head. Glimpses of a world I had never known. And then, I woke up. You. Get up. Where am I? You've been in hypersleep on the way to Tyrus. What? Your worlds are about to collide, David Carter. Try not to get crushed. Let's go! Who are you? I am Admiral Sinor. Would you do me the honor of accompanying me to the surface of Tyrus? There is someone very anxious to meet you. Like I have a choice? <laughs> Frankly, not at this time. But soon. David Usha? Would you like to fly her through the ice ring? We've had reports that you are an excellent pilot. Approaching Sector 7. Where do I land this? Through there, in Anusha.
Your host awaits David Usha. Don't. Beautiful. But her sting is deadly. Welcome to Tyrus, nephew. I've been expecting you. side of the story. I'm not quite the monster some would have you believe. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, you've been misinformed about me. I just want to correct that impression. What if I don't believe you? You will be returned to Earth immediately. Agreed. I remember that same look in your father's eyes. So young, so defiant. My father. My home. Our home. Welcome to the great hall of Usha. Here we honor generations of your ancestors. Your great grandfather, ruthless, unyielding. He was succeeded by your grandfather, a brilliant administrator. It was he who devised our plans for Earth. Tell me about my father. Uh, a man after my own heart. He would have made a fine ruler were it not for his obsession with Earth. It blinded him to the needs of our people. What... what happened to him? He spent the past 16 years leading the Ushati forces against me. It hasn't been easy, but we were finally able to make peace between us. Then... he is alive. More than alive. He's here at my side. I don't understand. Well, why don't we let him explain? Father? David, let me look at you. What a warrior you've become. I just wish I could have been there to watch you grow. Has he given his answer? He doubts my intentions. <laughs> so did I. Come, there is much you need to know. I was shot down attacking the Dragon's command ship. searched for days before he found me. I owe him my life. But Rafe said it was Dragut who tried to kill you. Hmm. A good man, Rafe. But a bit too quick to action. As I regained my strength, I saw all the good the Dragut has done for the people. My people. I lost this in battle, but for the first time I truly began to see I was the renegade, not Dragut. He needs you, David. I need you. Me? What can I do? There has been enough bloodshed. The only way to stop it is for the people to see that we three stand as one. Help us heal our land. But I'm just a... You are my son. That is enough. The people await you, David Osha.
Have they been told about the invasion of Earth? There will be no invasion if you join us. We offer you the power to make a difference in the future of both your worlds, David Osha. But Rafe said that... Son, Rafe is dead. You have your mother's eyes. Where is Mom? What? Rafe said she went to join you. Is that true? Son, these things are more complicated than you realize. Of course it's true, David. Mom! David Osha, the people are wait. Now, son, join us. Mom, what do I do? Oh, my sweet David, do you believe in me? Believe in you? Mom, you're all I ever had. Then believe in me now, David. I am the spirit of all that is good and true within you. No, don't listen to her, David. Then what do I do? Run. What? Run, David, now! Son, don't do this. I am your father. No! I don't believe you. You will never leave here alive, boy. You will never leave here alive, boy. Kill him! Kill him! Fight, I shall never die. Ray, what's happening to me? You must leave this place. If you do not join the Drakkit, he must kill you. I'm taking the Raider back to Earth. No. The way out lies beyond the garden. Someone's there to lead you. A woman. Uh, Mom? Another. Find her. She will lead you out of this nightmare. Rafe. We will meet again, David. I promise. Now go! David, they'll never break you, but if you remain in this place, you will die. Come with me. No! You've got to trust me. The way out is there. The light! <laughs> Please, David, hurry. Time's running out. I give you greetings, nephew. You knew it would come to this. No, David, you can't. You don't have the glove. I have no choice. Well, come on! Shut up! 
wasted enough time. He's never gonna break. Stop it! You'll kill him! Shut up. We've wasted enough time. He's never going to break. Shut up! We've wasted enough time. We're supposed to convert him, not kill him. My mind was clearing. I wasn't on Tyrus. Where was I? Have a nice trip. Well, you've reached the end of the line. Listen to me, Simon. Kill him, and they kill us. You must swear allegiance to the Dragut. Work with him. There's no other way. No! Don't be a fool. Do you realize what Dragut's offering Earth? No more war, no more poverty or crime. It's a lie. It's all a lie. Swear allegiance or the pain starts again. We take you back to Tyrus. Back into your mind. Back to the Dragut. I don't care. I will never join him. See? Ain't gonna happen. Time to finish our little game. And I've got just the thing to do it. I wouldn't do that. Listen to him, Simon. I told you to shut up! <laughs> what? What's happening? just been through I wasn't sure what was real and what was fantasy there had to be a way to contact Major Stark and Sergeant Romar I had nowhere else to turn no one else to trust time was running out I can't protect you, Sonia. You let the boy go. You always told us we were indispensable. No one is indispensable. It's interesting. Gordon's 201 file. Academy profile, Air Force commission papers. And a phony birth certificate. 
Someone's calling him. Gordon here. It's Dr. Lear, General. So, has David Carter been converted to our side? There's been a problem, General. He's escaped. I don't believe I'm hearing this. He got away. You had him and he got away. It wasn't my fault. No? Then just whose fault was it, Doctor? Who do you suggest I hold responsible? Sonia let him go. She said he was heading for the Capitol Mall. Alert the Galim. He could be right outside. What are we waiting for? Operator? I need to be connected to the Pentagon, please. It's urgent. Hold, please. We'll take my car. Department of the Army. Um, I'm looking for Major Philip Stark. Is there any way I can reach him? One moment. Stark, what? Major, it's David Carter. David, where are you? I'm in a phone booth near the Pentagon. It's too foggy to see any signs. Uh-oh, I may have company. Keep talking, we need ten more seconds. Talk to me, David. Stay on the line. David! He made the call from here.
David, move away from the window. Where did Major Stark go? He'll be back. Relax, David. Isn't it time you started trusting us? You've got quite a library, Sergeant Romar. Angie, I like to read. They're all books on war. I'm a soldier. You ever kill anybody? Yes. So have I. You're in a war, David. And you really do believe me? Yes, we both do. Thank you. too late for the party I haven't had pizza in a long time he's here Simon and get out. Before I change my mind. Gordon, I'm glad you've come. We have much to discuss. Oh. Oh. Give me one good reason not to kill you right now. We... We can find him. Sonia let him go. Sooner or later she'll contact him. And then what? Let you screw things up again? I don't think so. Lomac, you know my aide, Major Lomac? If you analyze a sample of his DNA, I think you'd be surprised. You're not the only one capable of grand feats of genetic engineering, Doctor. Lomac comes from the planet Kaon. He's what we call a metamorph. Oh, God. No. No, no! Please, please, let me go. As of now, please, Dr. Please. Lear, the hybrid program is terminated. She's yours. Wanted me to swear allegiance to Dragon. But you stood up to them. Of course. I never betray my father or, or the Ushadi. How can we help you, David? Doc says they'll start throwing meteors again soon. They'll knock out power grids, defense, transportation. We've got to stop them. How? They have the high ground. It doesn't get much higher than the moon. We need a spaceship. I can't contact the Ushadi. I'm not talking about the Ushadi. 
Only the president can authorize something like this. We've got to get David to him. <laughs> it's easier said than done. Especially with Gordon in the way. Speak of the devil. Major Stark returning General Gordon's call. Gordon here. Yes, sir. I see. No problem, General. We'll be there. We have a command performance with Gordon tomorrow, 9 a.m. at the White House. You know it's a trap. Of course it's a trap. We could tell the president now. Right. Wake him up at 3 in the morning to tell him his chief military advisor's an alien and a bunch of bug-eyed monsters are throwing rocks at us from the moon. They'd lock us in a room and throw away the room. I guess you're right. Have you got a plan? He has breakfast in his office every morning at 8 sharp. And we're going to be there for this one. Uh, excuse me, but how do I get in? If anyone stops you, you're my aide. Got that? Corporal? Got it. You really think you can get us in to see the president? They went to college together. Don't worry about getting in to see him. Worry about what we say after we get in to see him. Take the chance. Take David. You know where to go. They're headed for the Oval Office. They've got the boy with them. Let's go. There really is a bowling alley under the White House. Yeah, rumor is they're going to build a new memorial to the first president who bowls a perfect game. Uh, David, over here. Major Stark. Can I help you? Uh, just a question or two for the chief, Mrs. Murphy. The president's quite busy today, Major. I doubt he's got time for unscheduled talks. Besides, we have a nine o'clock meeting. This won't take long. I guess I'm not making myself clear. This isn't an option, Major. It's an order. Stand down. <laughs> Mr. President, I need a quick word with you. No time, Phil. I need to be at Camp David by noon. Sir, I assure you this is a matter of the highest then tell priority. tell me on the way to the chopper. Hold the fort, General. Romar. Yes, sir. The helipad. Got it. We're on our way. Fine, David Carter. I'll take care of Stark. Which way? Hold it. You don't want me to use this. Oh, but I do. <laughs>
Okay, you got me for 30 seconds, Phil. I'm assuming you're familiar with White House Report MI-8284. What the hell's that? I'll try to summarize it, sir. I'll read it on the way up. You come up to the camp later today, we'll discuss it. Are you okay? We had a close encounter. A little too close. She was great. Where to now? Fort Myer, Virginia. We've got a chopper to catch. Where's your hat, soldier? <laughs> You're letting them go? You know they're headed for Cap David. Of course. But they'll never get there. Dr. Liu's methods proved inadequate. Uh, we've taken over. Uh, don't worry. The boy won't be a problem. Waste no more time. The boy is the son of Kei Roshan. He's a danger to me by his mere existence. My nephew must be loyal to me or he must be dead. There is no alternative. Yes, Dragut. Now I have good news for you. Our moon base reports they are ready to resume the meteor attack on Earth. Excellent, sir. We will wipe out their early warning radar system and then their power grids. After that, the destruction of their cities. If all goes well, America will be incapable of resisting the invasion. Brilliant. When is the first strike? Even as we speak. Everything was coming into focus. I knew who the enemy was. And for the first time, I knew who my friends were, too. Uh-oh. I get it. Stand down, Sergeant. Sorry, sir. Can't let you have it. Sergeant, I'm under orders from the President. I was told you'd say that, sir. I was ordered to disregard it. Look, I hope we don't have to get into a rank-pulling contest over this, Sergeant. Excuse me. Soldier, would you look me in the eye? Excuse me? I give you greetings. Let's go. Sir. Stark took out the guards we put on his helicopter. He took off 12 minutes ago. What? Intercept him, shoot him down if he won't comply. Ladies and gentlemen, the First Lady of the United States, Mrs. Karen McAllister. As you all know, tomorrow is an historic day. The USS Intrepid will begin the countdown for its first suborbital flight from Cape Kennedy to Edwards Air Force Base. This new generation of super space shuttle is fully automated, capable of taking off under her own power. What do you think, Blue? Ain't that some? And the astronauts tell me anyone who can drive a car can fly the new shuttle. And there's less traffic up there. <laughs> Anybody can fly her. I wonder. 
So it is with great pleasure and pride that tonight I dedicate the USS Intrepid. May she fly in peace for all mankind. <laughs> You're staring at me, Sergeant. You realize we just flushed our careers down the toilet. Yeah, but the president will clear that up. If he believes us. You guys have really laid it on the line. How can I thank you? It's no big deal. Good evening, Officer the President. Hi, Lieutenant. Is my guy handy? One moment, ma'am. First Lady calling, sir. Hi, honey. You look real good. Oh, it's back. John, everything you said it was. Did you know they're planning to take ordinary people into space in a few years? <laughs> uh, yes, dear. Believe it or not, they briefed me on that. How long are you going to be at Camp David? I don't know. Some funny things have been happening. Anything serious? Uh, hun, I gotta break off now. Okay, I understand. You always do. Thanks. Mr. President, you better read this, sir. A direct meteor hit on Point Barlow? It's almost like someone aimed it. Nobody could aim a meteor. Sir, I'm beginning to wonder. <sighs> Alert the Joint Chiefs of Staff. I want to know what's going on here. Uh-oh. Bogey at 5 o'clock high. Within range, sir. We can't outrun them. I know. Defense 6, this is Army 3-0. Come in, please. We're okay. That's McDowell. Yo, Mac, this is Field. What's up? I think you know, sir. I have orders to escort you back to base. From General Gordon? That's a Roger. I want you to disregard those orders. You know I can't do that. We go back a long ways, Mac. I know we do. I give you my personal word that the President has ordered me to Cap David. That may be true, Phil, but now all bets are off. I don't like it, but you have to turn back. Just keep going, Sergeant. They're not turning, sir. Phil, I mean it. I have orders to shoot you down if you don't turn back. Don't make me do it. No response, sir. Lock and load. They've locked on. Listen to me, Mac. Gordon's not what he seems to be. He is a serious threat to the president and the country. Well, I've got to get to Camp David. I'm sorry, Phil. I don't have any choice. That's never true. You could have a little friendly engine trouble. You trained me better than that. Talk's over. I will fire in ten seconds. Mac. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. What are you doing? I'm trying to pop a ribbon. What? Six, five, four, three, two. What the? Army 3 0. I have rotor trouble returning to base. Golf course at 3 o'clock if you need it, Mac. Exactly how did you do that? Just trying to be helpful. Well, don't open the champagne just yet. I have a feeling we're not going to be welcome at Camp David. What if we can't get in the front door? We'll just have to go around back. to work security here. Is it electrified? It used to be. The lawyers made them turn it off. Liability exposure. Sensors. 
Interrupt one and all hell breaks loose. This is General Gordon. Any signs of Major Stark's party? Uh, no, sir. Good. Stay on alert. the attack on Maple Island. I knew it. That SOB tried to kill us. This is getting very personal. Oh, man. How do we get to the president now? I want to emphasize this. These people are a major security threat. They're well-trained, armed, and dangerous. Find them. If they resist, kill them. Am I perfectly clear? Sir, yes, sir. Everything okay? Yes, I'm fine. Good. I've got to check on some things in my office. I'll be right back. Whoa! Hold it right there. Phil? I can explain everything, Mr. President, but you've got to hear us out. Us? Please, sir, you have to listen. The hell I do. Don't press that. Sir, the survival of our world is at stake. That's a pretty melodramatic thing to say, Phil. It's the truth. Excuse me, Mr. President, but it is true. Who the hell are you? David Carter, sir. Oh, David Carter! <sighs> what, you don't look too dangerous to me? No, sir. All right, I'll listen, but it better be good. First, sir, here is MI-8284. Did you read the copy I gave you? Uh, no. It contains evidence of alien infiltration throughout our command structure. Go on. Do you know anything about a huge underground facility at Charles Air Force Base? The base that was destroyed. Does that have something to do with this? Yes, sir. Let me start by saying that we can prove what I'm going to tell you. I'll be the judge of that. Sir, the United States is in imminent danger of an invasion from a planet outside our solar system. I'm listening. 
General Gordon's office. Any problems? No, General. He's meeting right now with the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Very good. Not good, General. Why? He was very disturbed that you weren't here. Tell the President I'm very sorry. Yes, sir. And I didn't know any of this until Rafe told me. Fascinating. Oh, excuse me, Mr. President. I, I didn't... I didn't. Obviously, you were misinformed. Yes, sir. See that no one else disturbs me. Yes, sir. Sorry about that. I know we're asking you to believe a lot, sir, but a lot. <laughs> Something of an understatement, Phil. It's the part about these aliens masquerading in the armed forces that I find hardest to swallow. Mr. President, I'm sure an analysis of General Gordon's DNA will prove we're right. Sergeant, do you seriously want me to demand a blood sample from a general of the United States Air Force? Yes, sir, I do. Well, uh, Gordon, nice of you to drop in. We were just talking about you. Ah, yes, Major Stark and the elusive David Carter. Sir, here is the enemy. Let me arrest him. I can't do that, Major. You see... He's my commanding officer. Shot on sight. Stay here. Are you going to be all right? Yes, sir. I just, I just need a moment. I will get them for you. No, no, no. You've got to rest. I need you fully restored. Keep your eyes open, men. Don't miss a thing. What's that? Son of a... Stole my helicopter! We missed something. The president's chopper wasn't there. Then who was that thing? Rafe told me something about these metamorphs from the planet Kaon. Maybe that's one of them. So we're entirely on our own. There is no way the three of us can destroy a base on the dark side of the moon. Maybe... Quentin Radar Station up ahead, sir. Stay low, or they'll spot us. Look. seems certain. We had to find a way to stop it. But how? People, I've got an idea.
strike control. Multiple bogeys closing at zero, nine, or nine. Launch your missiles. Repeat, launch your missiles. Bravo Squadron, bogeys 12 o'clock high. First pigeon is mine. Hawk is in the air. Pentagon sources refuse to comment on reports of at least one, possibly more, aerial engagements today with the deadly meteors. Meanwhile, the country's military forces remain on full alert as the meteors continue to impact the heart of our nation's defense system, leading many to the conclusion that America is under attack by hostile and, as of yet, unknown forces. The president has scheduled a press conference within the hour. Jim? Honey? It's all right, Jim. I just know. You don't understand. He's gone. The invasion's coming, and there's just nothing I can do about it. Listen to me. You can't give up hope. David wouldn't want you to. Call on David Carter. Call on David Carter. Come in, David Carter. Hey, kid, where are you? Is your radio on? It's Doc. Hey, Doc, it's Jim. Jim Bailey. Finally. Listen, Jim, I gotta reach the kid. Things are moving fast. You shoddy figure drag is gonna get cocky. Maybe move up the invasion. Can't they do anything to stop it? Not enough of them. But I got a plan. What can we do to help? Uh, th this is my mom. Well, hello. Okay, find the kid. Tell him I'm at Mosquito Lagoon in Florida. Have him meet me there. I, I don't know how to reach him. Wait a minute. Would it help to locate... Sergeant Angie Romar? Looks like nobody's home. Let's check out those hangers. Yes, sir. She's beautiful. Romar. Hey, how are you? Yeah, he's right here. It's for you. Hello? Jim! David, I don't believe it. Listen, man, bad news. Doc says the invasion's gonna be moved up. How soon? He didn't say, but he's got a plan. He wants you to meet him in Florida. Where in Florida? A place called Mosquito Lagoon. We'll find it. Thanks, man. You can thank me in person. I'm coming, too. Jim, listen, it could be dangerous. I don't want to hear it. I'm coming. I'll get there somehow. You're crazy, man. Did you find him? Yeah, he's on his way. Listen, how do I get this Tyrusian bike of yours started? Simple. Just rotate the kickstand clockwise twice, then give it a yank. Bike will run normal after that. What's this? Can't save the world on an empty stomach. Oh, God. I'm a mom. So what I do. I'm so very proud of you, Jim. Maybe they've stopped. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Our fingers crossed? Sir, the press is waiting. I don't give a damn about the press. What am I supposed to tell the American people? The truth, sir. The truth. That we don't know where these things are coming from? That we don't know who's sending them? CIA, FBI, DOD, nobody knows anything. I'm blind here, people, and I don't like it. I want answers now. 
Sir, our entire missile system is a DEFCON 5. That's all we can do. Sir, satellite tracking reports incoming. Tell me they're gonna hit the Pacific. No, sir. Tracking indicates Hoover Dam. Admiral, launch your missiles. suggest I tell the American people now. Mr. President! One at a time here. Ho, ho, ho! We have been able to track the meteor's trajectory. Apparently some form of geological disturbance is happening on the dark side of the moon. We're, listen to me. We are in the process of positioning an observation satellite. Mr. President! Sir! Mr. President! Sir! How do you explain the specific nature of the meteor's targets? I'm not sure I would call them targets. Oh, come on, Mr. President. Fort Hood, Fort Myers, NORAD, the Hoover Dam. Yes, and lighthouses and small towns and the ocean and the desert. Not every meteor is taking out something strategic. What's being done to protect the general populace we're from these strikes? We're doing everything possible to protect everybody. Can you be more specific? Not at this time. Mm, see them feeding upon their fear. As a race, they're hardly worth conquering, but they're a planet that is a jewel to be possessed. By this time tomorrow, our meteors will have taken out their entire power structure. Their early warning systems are gone. The bold move would be to invade now, while they're in chaos. Where would our ships resupply? Anywhere in America. Look at them. They offer no hope of resistance. There are other factors. The Oshadi, we've underestimated them before. A ragtag group of malcontents too busy warring among themselves to be of concern to us. But if they found someone to unite them, say the son of Kailu Shah. A minor problem. But notify Gordon. Have him hunt down David Carter and eliminate him. Invasion now. Mm, I wonder. He's a natural. Yeah, a natural. Find David Carter. We need his help. Take us to him. Hey, hey, I'm not taking you anywhere. Yes, you are. Oh, that's just great. What are you gonna do? Shoot me? If I have to. There, 
It was like you knew he was leaving. Yeah, we have this, this bond, this uh, telepathic or something. Without me, he doesn't know what he's doing. The Tyrusians will find him. Give me the gun. Get on. says I look like a men's room attendant. Oh, well, he's all right. Just don't try to pet him. Don't worry. Doc, this is Major Stark and Sergeant Romar. Major? Sergeant, glad to have you aboard. Aboard? Aren't you here to help? We're here to take the shuttle to the moon. No, I'm here to take the shuttle to the moon. And we just got eight hours to do it in. You got a plan? Buddy, you better believe it. What do we got? Well, the, uh, the meteors just continue to fall like they're on some kind of schedule. I don't, uh... Admiral, what happened to our Star Wars technology? Sir, you vetoed most of the funding for its development. Don't pin this on me. We've got to give the people hope. I understand that, sir, but we're up against the wall. Sir, it's for you. Not now. I believe you'll want to take this one, sir. Gordon. Guess who? You're a dead man. I'd rather not be. And I've got something to bargain with. I don't have time for games. This is no game. I want to trade a life for a life, his for mine. Who? I can take you to David Carter. Increased security. Doesn't matter. All we gotta do is act natural. <laughs> Hell, I've been coming and going for days. Nobody's even giving me a second look. Why not go tonight? Over the fence. The plan doesn't work that way. Trust me. Shh, listen. doing here she sort of insisted i bring her along i don't think they're real excited to see you what about you i don't know yet depends on why you're here the tyrusians killed my mother now they're after me how do we know this isn't some sort of trap you don't look i know nothing i say is going to convince you but i can help david and i share certain abilities together we'd be stronger You brought her. What do you think? I trust her. She stays. Well, come on. We got work to do.
you'll understand if I don't salute, General. Give me a reason not to kill you now. I didn't let David Carter escape. It was my sister. Besides, I can lead you back to him. How? Not so fast. If I deliver him, you'll forget I ever existed, right? David Carter in exchange for your life. How do I know you can find him? My sister and I have got this telepathic bond. She's with him now, and I can take you there. <laughs> Lomac? You remember Lomac. What is this? Lomac has a team and a chopper. Take him wherever he wants to go. Excellent. But understand this. I want David Carter dead. Me too, General. Me too. This meat's delicious. Yeah, you think old Blue. He provided the entree. Hmm, what is it? Gator. Figure this out on his own. Here. Thanks. You okay? Why'd you let me stay? Remember when you let me escape from the brainwashing? And I asked you why? You said you didn't know. Well, I don't know either. about to do would work but all I saw was meteor after meteor being launched at earth by dragon and I knew no matter what we had to try Twenty-four hours, Druggett. Phase three will take another month. <laughs> Why wait? Alert all invasion commanders. We go now. Notify Balkor. I'm traveling to the moon base to oversee the invasion personally. fleet was already on its way to invade America. He was encouraged by reports of chaos. And he had a right to be. From his base on the dark side of the moon, the meteor bombardment continued. Massive power failure, we have only sporadic reports from the East Coast. But in the West, several major cities are known to have been battered by meteors. As you can see, there is panic in the streets everywhere. We, we have no reliable figures, but... Uh, could you... Uh, am I on? Am I on? Um, okay. 
Despite pleas from all levels of government to stay calm, Americans are fleeing their homes in unprecedented numbers. Police have been unable to maintain any semblance of order whatsoever. It is complete chaos. What, could you, oh, the president? Tell the truth! Tell the truth! Are you getting this? Okay, as you can see, thousands of people are here demanding action from the president. As far as we can learn, he is in the White House war room with his top security advisors. No one seems to know what the government is doing about the crisis. Mr. President, if the destruction continues at the present rate, the United States as a modern nation will cease to exist. I think it is imperative that we remove key personnel of the government to underground bunkers. That won't stop the media. Sir, we are dealing here with the overwhelming power of nature. Are we? Or is it an unknown hostile force? Oh, Listen, have any of you bothered to read White House Report MI-8284? I can't believe this. General Gordon. Sir, didn't you distribute this? Level one only, sir. This report indicates that the meteors are being deliberately fired from a base on the dark side of the moon. With all due respect, sir, the technical capability for such a weapon does not exist. The meteors are a fact, Admiral. Any idiot can see they're being aimed at specific targets. Aimed by whom, sir? The report suggests military forces from another planet. 8284 cites evidence of a long-term alien presence here. And on the far side of the moon. Sir, that report was written by Major Stark. A maverick officer given to hysterical speculation. I've known Bill Stark for many years. He is not given to hysteria. Uh, until a few months ago, I would have agreed with you, sir. But recently, he's shown aberrant behavior. Well, maybe you would too, General, if you thought you were right. I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this report is the only thing that makes sense. But Mr. Sir, President, the facts suggest... No, 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 no. I don't want to hear any more debate. Admiral Rupert, you will take every possible action on the assumption that there are hostile forces on the moon. I expect you to locate and destroy them. But, Mr. President, we do not have the material means to deal with this hypothesis. What about the new super shuttle? It can reach the moon? Well, yes, sir, but it's unarmed. Then arm it and get it up there now. We have no other options. Yes, sir. All right. Well, let's get a move. Yeah. Come on. Doc's plan to steal the new space shuttle was ready. But if anyone found out we were there, we had come all this way for nothing. All clear. I knew this had come in handy. What? This. I got it hid behind this hologram. <laughs> well, I'll be down. I told you he was resourceful. Okay, let's load him up. These look like the real thing. They are. I had a little help. What are these? Tyrusian space luges. You're going to love that part. Now, 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 none of that. We'll have this whole nice swamp, lots of gators to eat. I'll be back. That's a promise. When is your magic connection to your sister supposed to kick in? We're not close enough yet. Just keep flying south. Andrews Tower, this is Air Force One Six, ready for takeoff. Roger One Six, destination Cape Kennedy. You're cleared for takeoff. Have a good flight, General. thousand keys off. Battle stations. You are not seriously thinking of attacking. We do not have a chance. We have a chance. A chance to cut off the head of the dragon. 
Don't you think it's worth the risk? Disengage stealth. Bushati Raider attacking on third quadrant. Battle stations! Launch the interceptors! Minor integrity loss. Being repaired. How long? 48 hours. Damn them! Something else, sir. We have identified the raider. Well, well, well. You think we can get away with it? Piece of cake. Yeah, you hope. Cargo for the shuttle. Oh, you part of the president's crazy new orders? Huh? It's pretty short notice for us to get the shuttle to the moon. You know where to go? Oh, yeah. Mr. President, Frank Dreyer from Kennedy Space Center on three. Dwyer, where are we? Not good, Mr. President. I don't think you appreciate how much is involved in setting up a launch. You were already running a countdown. That was suborbital, sir. We have to write a whole new program, and the crew is scattered. Well, write the new program, get the crew back, and let's get that bird launched. It's going to take us a couple of days. I want it launched today. Do whatever it takes. We're all set. What the hell's going on here? Additional cargo for the shuttle. Nobody told me. No, it's top secret. Yeah, you can buy one of those for 20 bucks in any Miami bar. This one's genuine. Maybe. But you ain't going near that ship until I check you out. This is Grogan. Patch me through to Mr. Dwyer. Is there some trouble here? Sir, these people claim to have unlisted secret cargo for the Intrepid. That's right. We've been expecting them. You made good time. Uh, I guess it's okay, Dr. Kaslick, but somebody should have notified me. White House priorities. Someone's always left out of the loop. Yeah, cancel that patch. I'm coming in. I'm sorry, sir. Just doing your job. Yeah, I know all about it. You must be David Usha. I give you greetings. Doc? May I introduce Dr. Milo Koslick, Deputy Director of Shuttle Operations and a fellow deserter from Tyrus. Told you I had some help. Yes. We hear the president's ordered a moon flight. Right. Good news is, they wrote your program for you. Bad news is, the launch is in five hours. What about the real astronauts? <laughs> Seems somehow their recall orders got delayed. Yes. All right. Here we go. I'll brief you on flight systems. Nothing you can't handle. When you reach lunar orbit, you can put your own plan into effect. All right, people. Let's get our gear. Uh, 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 what? That way! <sighs> Never seen anything like this before. What is it? Top secret. If I told you, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> yeah, sure. You learning fast. This is Mission Control. We are at T-minus two hours and counting. I used to dream about being an astronaut. I guess it's in the genes. Yeah. Genetics is the final mystery. It's what my mother used to say. <sighs> I never thought I'd miss her. I know how that feels. <laughs> what is it? Diamond? Huh? 
There's a telepathic link between my brother and me. Oh! David! He's bringing them to find you! Wait, where are you going? What are you doing? I can't stay near you. But Sonia! Don't you get it? If I stay, they'll kill you. I don't want you to go. David. Good luck. One hour and holding. In there. This is Kaslik. Let me talk to Dwyer. Yeah, Kaslik, what is it? They're here and suiting up. Good work, man. Resume the countdown. Resuming countdown at T minus 60 minutes. Could you catch that zipper for me? Whoa, fast times at Glenford High. Sorry. They're down there! Air Force One Six, this is Bird Dog, over. This is One Six, over. We've located them, General. Cape Kennedy? No, sir. On I-95, heading for Georgia. Idiot. He's leading on a wild goose chase. Get rid of him. Yes, sir. What did he say? Simon! Simon! You betrayed me, Simon. None of this would have happened if you hadn't let David Carter go. Take my hand. The astronauts are entering the shuttle at T-minus three minutes. Emergency panel is over there. Got it. Success. Oh, this ship's really cool. Always hoped I could go to the moon. Time to start hoping you get to come back. We're really gonna do it. All systems go. Auxiliary power off. Eubanks normal. Guidance check, go. Umbilical drop, free. Hydraulics in the green. Port booster, go. Starboard booster, go. Main propulsion, go. T minus 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six. You're going without us? Five, four. Who's on board? Three, not us. Two, one. Abort! Abort! Get security to the shuttle now! Shut that off. Whoever you are, you're in a mess of trouble. They've locked off the command computer. She's all set for liftoff. There's got to be a way. Can't we override? We can substitute the onboard computer. This one? Maybe this here. No, that one. Cops coming. Go for it.
Running hot, straight, and normal. Next stop, the moon. White House One, this is Air Force One Six. Get me the boss now. Gordon, where are you? Sir, I'm in an F-118, and I have the hijacked space shuttle in sight. Permission to attack. Hold up, hold up. We're trying to find out who's flying her. Mr. President, this is Phil Stark. Phil, thank God. Where are you? On the intrepid. En route to the moon. Mr. President, I am in range. You must give me permission to fire. My people and I can stop the meteor, sir. We're the only ones that can. Closing on target. John, don't you know in your gut that you can trust me? Locking on. Do not fire. General Gordon, do you hear me? Do not fire. You're breaking up, sir. General Gordon, do you... Just minimal. We are on course for the moon. Thank God. from Earth at Tachyon Drive. Get me the moon base. Plutarch. A writer. Ancient Greece. <laughs> Pretty smart for an old guy. Intrepid, this is Mission Control. Do you copy? Roger, Mission Control. Understand you're requesting a parking orbit? That's affirmative. Roger. Prepare for retrofire sequencing and lunar stationary orbital insertion. Hang on to your moon rocks. <laughs> If 
We were scared. Nobody showed it. Truth was, we knew almost nothing about our target or what we were up against. But one thing was sure. We had become a team. All right, people, let's review. We'll leave the shuttle in four minutes, using the Lugias to come in low and evade detection. Duck. The moon base force dome is probably speed sensitive. You enter too fast, you'll bounce right off. Once we're in, I'll find us some Tarusian duds so we can blend in. Mm -hmm. Angie? In the command center, Dave and I will start laying the ribbon explosive. It shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. Once the ribbon's been laid, I'll set the detonator timer. We'll have 15 minutes to get out of there. Once activated, the timer can't be stopped. Jim? Yeah, I'll hold down the fort here. Maintain the orbit for your return. Intrepid, this is White House One. This is White House One. Do you read? Intrepid here. We read you, Mr. President. <sighs> Tell me some good news, Phil. We're getting hammered down here. We're executing our attack plan now. How can we keep in touch with you? You'll lose our signal once we cross the Terminator, but your comm link will be one of our crew, Jim Bailey. Hello, Jim. Hello, Mr. President. Uh, uh, how old are you, Jim? 17, sir. We're breaking off now, Mr. President. Roger, standing by. Let's go, people. We're on the clock. Hurry back, okay? I don't have that much change for the meter. See you soon. You've got to get me some eyes up there. We're rerouting the Mars probe NASA launched last week. It should reach its closest lunar approach in two hours, sir. Intrepid, what's going on? They're on their way, Mr. President. Godspeed, Bill. Cover him up, Doc.
Pavech. Stoja tu? Zadnos. Flech tu tu. Kinho? That's just the uh, naked satellite feed, Mr. President. Watch, we'll uh, we can up the res, uh, adjust the contrast a little, and my God, look at the size of it! How the hell can four people stop something like that? Us. Cock it. Fittek Tom Der Goodick. Yosh. From the Dragon. Stand by. Transmission from the Dragon. Stand by. Barco. I am here, Dragon. I have a 
approaching your base. We await your orders. Are you ready to program the launch sequence? We are. It will take five minutes. And you guarantee the destruction of Washington, D.C.? I do. Excellent. When their capital is gone, the invasion will begin. Commence the launch sequence. Program for launch! We launch in four minutes and counting. You three go. I'll take out the launcher. That's an order. We started this together. We finish it together. No matter what. Balkach, Remit Broge Gulka, Tony Tug. We take them by surprise. Then, Doc, you gotta stall that launch. How long? Seven minutes. Till this place blows. Zazkach! Get down! Don't shoot! Take it easy. Thanks. David Busha. Of course. Reached the moon base. Balko, are we ready to launch? Yes, Dragon. We have transferred launch control to you. But first, I have a little surprise. David Usha. Well, what an unexpected pleasure. What? No greetings for your uncle. Balko, I'll hold the meteor launch while I come down to deal with my nephew personally. Yes, sir. You've made the Dragit very happy. Balka, I have detached the detonator from the main charge, but I cannot disarm it. You disarm it. You know, the cold's gone right out of my head. It must be all the stress I'm under. <gasps> I said, disarm it. Don't do it, Major! Angie, uh, remember D.I. Swanson back at Fort Bragg? Oh, yeah. Uh, what did he always say when he was slamming back tequila shots? He'd always say... Down there. Doc, can you disable that launcher? I can try. Do it! They've lost control. We're shot radar attacking on third quadrant. Battle station! Stand by to launch the meteors on Washington! Launch the meteor strike now! What the hell?
Doc, what happened? You were going to disable them. I couldn't disable them, so I put them in reverse. You what? Seemed like a good idea at the time. Let's get out of here. The meteor's launched. What's happening? Something's wrong. Champagne. I guess you'll have to settle for Tang. <laughs> oh. Come on, let's take a look at that wound. You did good, kid. Real good. Thanks, Doc. Jim, Jim, did you see it? Are you kidding? It was like the 4th of July. Hey, David. Someone wants to talk to you. Ushadi Vessel, this is Intrepid. This is the Ushadi Vessel? He's here, sir. Who is it? David Usha. Is it really you? Yes. David. Father? You're alive. I am so very proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> 